Hi, my name is Alexia Hamilton, and I am a 17-year-old senior at Omaha Central High School, home of the Eagles. I am the youngest of three kids, belonging to William Jean Hamilton, and I am starting the next step of my life at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln during the fall of 2016. When I was growing up, the Mount View Boys and Girls Club was a place for me to go when things at home wasn't that great. Ten years ago, I joined the club, and four months after becoming a member, my mom was diagnosed with stage 2B breast cancer. Being a seven-year-old, I never really understood what cancer was. I didn't understand why my mom grew weaker and weaker every time I saw her. I didn't understand why my mom was losing her hair. And I didn't understand why I had to start taking care of myself. With my dad taking care of three children and his wife, being around him while he was stressed out wasn't that fun. My mom beat cancer 10 years ago, and thinking back, I could have lost her. The possibility of not having the person who has shown me how to be a strong and hardworking woman could have changed my life completely. I mean, I don't think my dad and two other brothers could teach me what she has. Almost losing the most important person in my life has shown me the importance of family. However, families in the United States are losing loved ones to gun violence every day. The issues on violence, especially among young adults, are becoming more and more prominent in our communities. Violence is taking innocent bystanders from their families. No mother should have to bury their son or daughter because they were at the wrong place at the wrong time. So many victims of gun violence will not be able to complete important milestones. Some won't be able to toss their caps in the air at graduation. Some won't be able to experience what it's like to drive their first car. Some won't be able to call themselves a college graduate. Just last year, 12,942 people have been killed in the U.S. in a gun homicide. 756 of those victims were children. Roughly 30 Americans are killed on a daily basis. About half of those killed are black men, who only make up 6% of the population. Americans fear terrorist attacks on American soil. However, between 2005 and 2015, there's only been 71 Americans killed, while over 300,000 were killed by gun violence in the same 10-year span. In the words of our current president, Barack Obama, we did not come to fear the future. We came here to shape it. Thank you.